Hey guys, welcome back to a new video and today I'm going to be showing you how you guys can make a YouTube banner or channel art completely for free and I'm going to be showing you how you guys can do this step by step. So don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started with the video. So for today's video, we're going to be using Photopea, which is basically a free photo editing website that you guys can check out. And it's really similar to Photoshop and you guys can actually upload Photoshop files onto Photopea, which is really cool since it's free, but it's also really similar to Pixlr just in case you guys like using Pixlr more, you guys can follow the tutorial. But I have made old videos on these on each Photopea and Pixlr just in case you guys want to check it out. So with that said, let's get started. So now that we're on Photo P, all we have to do is just select a new project and then we're just going to name it something simple and after that we're going to focus on our width and our height but what's cool about photo P is that already has a template for this called youtube cover which has the exact dimensions that we need and after that we're just going to set our background to transparent and we're going to hit create and now photo P has created the canvas we're going to be using to make our youtube banner so for now, we're just going to create a new layer that can be found in this little layer icon on the bottom. But before we begin, I really do suggest that you guys get some sort of visual of what kind of banner you guys want to make. So you guys can get all the images and all the resources that you're going to be using in order to create this banner. And that's what I've done. I already searched up all the images and fonts that I'm going to be using and I already have them stored. And this helps you to move the process a little bit quicker when you're making your own banner. And you guys can even get inspiration from other banners if you want to. And from from there you guys can pick your own images and make it your own style but with that now said we're going to be placing our first image now this image is going to be like a guide that fits perfectly in the youtube size dimensions and it will guide you in your photo placement and text placement when you're making a banner so the first thing you got to do is go to file and then from there we're just going to go open in place this will open your documents and you guys will be able to find whatever images that you guys have saved up now I do highly encourage that you guys get this guide and it's really easy to download it's literally from Google but this will help you a lot when you're making your banner. And as you can see it fits perfectly into the canvas. Now if yours appears a little bit smaller you guys can actually stretch it out to the size of the canvas and it will fit perfectly. So this section right here is the logo and text safe area and we're just going to be removing that as we have to add our images and text. So in order to do that, all you have to do is choose the image, right click and hit rasterize layer in order for us to be able to edit it. And then we're going to go here to the marquee tool and we're just going to stretch it over this little middle area, be as precise as possible. And then we're just going to hit delete on our keyboard. And as you can see, that little area has been deleted. And that's where we're going to be placing all our images and text for our banner and the rest of the guide will not be seen when you're actually putting your banner on your youtube channel so now that we have that settled i'm just going to go back to layer one as my reference layer and now i'm going to be choosing the images that i'm going to be using to create my banner so yet again we're just going to go to file and then we're just going to select on open in place now for this banner i've chosen two images that i'm going to be using and I'm just going to mix them together to make a unique background. Now I highly do encourage you guys to make your own banner to your own style. But you guys can certainly take this banner as inspiration if you guys want to. So now that I've chosen my image, I'm just going to hit open and it's going to appear in the canvas below. So now that we have our image down here on the canvas, we're going to be seeing these little grid lines that we're going to be using. And I'm just going to transform it or stretch it out across the canvas and place it to where I want it to be. So now that I got that, just in case you guys want to place it or change the size of it, you guys can go up here to this control and check this little box where it says transform controls so you can see the guided lines over there. But now that I have placed it to where I want it to be, I'm just going to go here to the image itself, right click and I'm going to hit rasterize layer like always. So pretty much every single time I'm just going to be rasterizing each layer. And from there, I'm just going to add a little filter effect. So I'm just going to go up here to this tab on filter, go down to blur and add a Gaussian blur. A little window should pop up then and I'll be able to change the radius of the blur or the amount of blur. And as you can see, we can preview this. But for now, I'm just going to adjust the amount of blur I want onto my image. So I'm just going to go back to layer one and I'm just going to get my other image from my documents. And once I got that, all I have to do is just select on open and it should appear behind the image that I have on my canvas already. So as you can see right here, we have our second image and all I'm going to do is just select on that image and drag it on top of our first image that we placed. And as you can see, it's already up to size and I'm just going to rasterize it and we're just going to go to filter again and add the same blur effect. Now you guys can use different 
effects for your own backgrounds. I'm just going to give you a general idea and give you a little bit of familiarity between the tools that you're going to be using in order to create any type or any sort of banner. From there, we're just going to make sure we have selected our background. And if you guys are using two backgrounds, this is the way that you guys can basically mix them together to make it one. So for now, I'm just going to use my top image and I'm just going to go to the layer styles and select down to overlay. And from there, I'm just going to bring the opacity a little bit down. So both images mix together and you can't really tell because of the blur effect, but it kind of mixes really nicely in together. So now I have created my own background and you guys can do this either with two backgrounds or one background. It's really up to you, but this is just my style for this particular banner. So the next thing we're going to do is open a text layer. And for this, I'm just going to use the little text tool and I'm just going to press on the canvas and I'm just going to change the size of it just a little bit. And I'm just going to make sure that my text layer is on top of the background so we are able to see it. So I'm just going to press on the canvas and I'm just going to start typing and I'm just going to put it EJ tag. I'm just going to change the color using the color picker and I'm just going to leave it at white and hit it OK. From there, I'm just going to choose the font I want. Now you guys can search your own fonts or just use the ones that PhotoP has to offer or you guys can actually load your own fonts that you have downloaded. Now I'm just going to leave a site down below in the description or a good website called defont.com so you guys can download your own fonts. But if you guys want me to make a separate tutorial on that and how to download your own fonts, just let me know. But for now, I'm just going to use this particular font that I've downloaded and I'm just going to change the size of it to 200. But now I'm just really changing the size of it and just placing it to where I want to. The next thing I'm going to do is make another layer as a reference layer, pretty much to divide each part of my banner. And the next thing that we're going to do is use the shapes tool. We're going to change the fill to black and I'm just going to make a little rectangle behind the channel name. And I'm just going to basically use the transform controls and just tilt it a little bit just to add some extra depth. And if you guys didn't notice, I like to work on my banners or any type of graphic from the background up to the forefront. So I'll usually start off with the background and then with the text. And if there's any graphic designs that I want to add, I'll do that later. And I want to make sure that layer is underneath the text. I'm going to rasterize that layer and I'm just going to press on overlay and I'm just going to lower the opacity just a little bit to make it noticeable. And as you can see, we've made some little designs on the banner just to make it a little bit more dynamic. The next thing I'm going to do is create another text. And this is basically the exact same process using the text tool, pressing on the canvas and start typing. And for this one, I'm just going to put channel. I'm going to change the size, the color and the font of this. And yet again, I do want to make sure the text is on top of that rectangle that I just made. And for now, I'm just going to make another text off to the side here. It's very important that you guys put some sort of information on your banner and not just make it very bland, but you also don't want to overcrowd it. Now for this one, I'm just going to put new videos every week. So you let your audience knows or your subscribers know when they can expect your videos or you guys can add anything else such as your social media handles so they can follow you guys. But for now, I'm just going to leave this as it is and I'm just going to change the font, the size and this font I have downloaded it as well off of defont.com and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now on my channel banner I have like this YouTube tutorial content and it's basically a brief description of what type of videos I do on this channel. So I do suggest that you guys incorporate some sort of annotation of what your audience can expect out of your channel. This can be through like simple words or even images that you guys may give reference to. And remember guys, if you guys want to get any of these settings down, you guys are welcome to pause whenever in the video. So for the next part, we are just going to go ahead to the EJ Tech text that I've made and we're going to add some effects to it. Now it's not going to be very complicated and it's really easy to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is choose on that layer, right click and hit blending options. From here, I'm just planning to add a little drop shadow to it and I just go down here to drop shadow and click on it. Then from there, I just select it and the angle, I'm just going to have it a 90 degree angle. The opacity, I'm just going to bring it up just a little bit and the size, I'm going to increase it as well. So I don't know if you guys can actually see it, but I just want it really subtle just to add some depth onto the banner. From there, you have to click on define new in order to add the layer style and then you can hit OK. Now, what's cool about this, you don't have to do this process every single time to add it to every single one of your text. All you have to do is go to layer style and hit copy and move on to the different text and go to layer style and hit paste for each of the text that we have made today. It's just a very handy tool to use and it saves a lot of time. So I really enjoy this tool. 
but all I'm going to do is just adjust the spacing on each of the text so it looks pretty good. The next thing we're going to do is just move to a different layer and we're going to use the shapes tool but we're going to right click and select on the line tool. From here it's just basically decoration. I'm just planning to add some underline onto the text and words that I have here under YouTube tutorial and content just to make it a little bit more nice. But from there, I'm just gonna use the line, select it, rasterize it, and just basically align it. I know it's not gonna be the straightest thing ever, but for now, it will probably work. Now, in order to save even more time with this little line, what we can do is go back to layer one or to the layer of which you made the line, right click and hit onto duplicate layer. And as you can see, you can just press on it and drag it down to the next word. And as you can see, we have underlined each of these words. And for now, just to save a little bit more space up here, I'm just gonna right click, make sure to rasterize and just basically merge down. And as you can see, all these lines are merged together into one layer. And from there, we can actually rotate them just to make it a little bit more straight if we want to. And from there, we're basically done with this part. Now, another thing that we can add is basically adding a different layer. And we're gonna add these little accents in the background just to add our own style to it. So we're going to use the line tool again and I'm just going to make these three slanted lines as well as I can and just space it out just a little bit. Now that I have these three lines, I'm just going to go right click, I'm going to merge down so I can group these lines together into one image. We're going to go to the normal or layer styles and we're going to scroll down to overlay and I'm just going to put the opacity just a little bit more down so it doesn't distract the viewer from the actual text and I am just going to adjust the text and the lines just a little bit. Now we're going to go back to those three lines and we're going to right click and hit duplicate layer and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And I'm just going to keep adjusting it. I'm going to use the transform controls and I'm just going to tilt it just a little bit so it doesn't look out of place. And I'm just going to be doing the same thing on the other side. At this point is just basically setting up every graphic or text the way you want to so you guys can outline your banner the way you want to. But for now, we are done and finished with editing our YouTube banner. And to be honest, it doesn't really look that bad. But I know everyone has their own taste and their own style, which I do encourage that you guys follow. And depending on the type of channel that you guys are making will be a considerable factor. Now that we're finished, it's time to save it. So the first thing that we have to do when we're saving our image is go to file and then hit export as. From there, you guys can either choose a PNG or JPEG. Either one is fine, but for now, I'm just gonna choose JPEG. Now this will export the file as an image already. And from there, we should be presented with a new window. And I'm just gonna put the quality at 100%, make sure everything else is right and hit save. Now your computer will download this file and we have it right here. Now you guys can actually save the file if you want to all you have to do is just go back to file and saved as a psd and that's pretty much it so hopefully this has helped you a lot and has given you some insight on all the types of things that you guys can add or do to your banner like i said before this is not meant to dictate the exact same banner for you guys to use but it was meant to facilitate that transition of what kind of banner you had in your mind and being able to make it in this photo editor so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I suggest that you guys check out my previous tutorials on how to make a thumbnail and a YouTube end screen, which is very useful for when you're closing out your videos like this one. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.